Welcome to the TAF Hub. This is a brand new show brought to you by TAF Africa Global to educate you on real estate business and all the information you need to know about real estate. After 45 years of construction and real estate development in eight African countries, it is time to share my experience and it can only be done in the TAF Hub. We will be inviting experts who will give you facts and the right regulations on real estate development. Join us every week on our social media platforms for an exciting show. You can also watch us on JRTS TV every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Hi, guys. Welcome again to another Tough Hub. Um, today, my co-host is not here, uh, Maria Makoli. So I am hosting... And I'm hosting somebody, you know, very special. And um, I thought um, normally uh, I should have been sitting exactly. on that one as, as, <laughs> as a guest because this is her area. But here I am now, I've job shipped, you know, from being a builder, a real estate developer to now really back going into, into media. I mean, I'm ha having real fun with it. I will not mention who she is. Um, uh, she's somebody very well known, I'm, and I'm sure the cameras will reveal who she is. So, uh, Madam, uh, please tell us who you are. Well, thank you very much. Uh, a tough Mustafa Njai. Um, you said you're now into uh, doing interviews and stuff, but I'm saying uh, it's really big out there. There's a lot of citizen journalists now, and there's also a lot of uh, commentators who are not journalists and they're doing better than most journalists. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is great. Um, you're building a huge following on social media. I do see it every day, and it's a good thing. Sometimes the people in the media are like, oh, if Tuff is doing this by himself, <laughs> would we be making money from him? But you know, I'm like, yes, we'll still make money. But thank you very much for having me. My name is Fatu Kamara. I am uh, the Fatu Network uh, founder and the CEO. Is that all? Yes, I'm a mother of three boys, uh, Harona, Omar, and Ibrahim, and I'm a Gambian, and uh, I was born in Banjul. My mom and dad were born in Banjul, but my grandparents came from Kiang. Uh, my paternal side uh, is from Kiang Wurokang, my grandfather. My grandmother is from Bumari. On my mother's side, they're also from Kiang. My grandmother, Matano, is from Tankular, and paternal is also from Tankular. Great father, it's good to know. Um, uh... But, but this show started um, basically focusing on real estate. Mm -hmm. But as you know, we have a foundation. And the foundation, what it does is to inspire the young ones. I'm focusing on the youth. How do we now inspire these young ones so that they can be better people? I mean, you are known for being a journalist. And, and I think you, you, you are a disruptor. <laughs> so can you please, uh, for the sake of these young ones who are listening to you, who look up to you as an inspiration, just tell them also deep on your training, what you have done, and where you find yourself now. Well, you see, it's a whole, it's a journey. And mm. um, the last time we talked and you and I was telling you about how the young people are no longer patient and how somebody wants to start today and be Mustafa Njai the next day. Mm. And, um, you know, that's a whole journey that takes a lot of time. I went into media and communication when I finished high school, and that was in 1994, immediately after high school. When we started that time, people do not even get paid at that time. You know, when there's advertisements, then the boss would say, okay, we have adverts today, we'll give you something. But we were not even looking up to money. At that time, we wanted the talent. We wanted to be creative. We wanted to know how to do this job. That was our priority at that time. If you look at it now, it's different. People would start today and the next minute you want to, con you want to compete with the person who is on the top. So if the young people know that this whole thing is not about competition, it is about making your own mark and also being creative because if you do, there's only one Mustafa Njai. Because when you started, you know what you wanted and you went for it. And that's how you are where you are today. But if I, for instance, want to start a real estate business and um, the next minute, you know how people are in Gambia, how they like to make people believe stuff that's not true. And they start telling you, ah, you're from Nekanika, you're And then me just starting, instead of spending time 
and trying to go through the whole process and be like you, I want to rush and be like you. There's no shortcut in this. Mm -hmm. So this is what I always tell the young people. When we started, it wasn't about money. Mm -hmm. It was about us being creative and trying to curve like um, a way. This is what we want to do. That's where we wanted to get to. I started making a million not long ago. And I started in 1994. Wow. When I started up to 2013, when I was reading the news on GRTS, I was making less than $100. Up to 2013, wow. less than $100 for reading news. Mm -hmm. And that time I was also a press secretary at the office of the president. I was getting $6,000 for a whole director of press mm -hmm. for the president. Mm -hmm. $6,000 plus $2,000 at GRTS. I was making about $8,000 salary up till 2013. So it was after that that... Um, I started to, you know, set up the Fatu Network, started getting into contracts with Tough Africa Global and others. That is what, you know, is making me get a little bit of money. So it's all patience. It's all not, not being a copy card. Mm -hmm. It is all being original and being yourself, being creative and trying to do your own thing. Because if, if I copy you, that's very easy. But again, that's you. Even I may not know that people would know this, but people watching would see tough all over everything I'm doing. Mm. So maybe this is some of the things that the young people fail to, you know, to know. So I think um, to conclude that it's important for them to be themselves. Mm -hmm. You don't have to copy anybody. If you see tough is doing something that you want to do, contact him. Mm. Go to him and say, you know, I've seen you've done this. How do I do it? Mm -hmm. And then that's more easier than just sitting and copying and wanting to be somebody in the first year of your career or of your business or whatever you're doing. So tell me, what, what would you call yourself today? I mean, are you an entrepreneur? Are you a journalist? Um, <laughs> right. uh, media? Who, what would you call yourself? If somebody says, who is Fadu Kamara? Who is uh, right now, I'm not very much big into the media. Mm -hmm. I have the Fatu Network, which is being run by young people who mm -hmm. are very, very good. They're doing a great job. But I'm more uh, sliding into entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at the media, mm -hmm. it's... it's too much now. Everywhere you go, new technologies are taking over. How you see how TikTok is taking over. Mm -hmm. You see how Snapchat and mm -hmm. um, you know social media. So television and radio now is kind of dying down. So if you're on there, you don't make a lot of money because mm -hmm. even advertisements now, Facebook would you can pay Facebook a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars, and they would advertise for you and you get more rich. Mm -hmm. So now media is kind of it's they reshaping the media. So this is why I'm into entrepreneurship, because there you'll make money to be able to pay the media salary. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, if you depend on media alone, you'll be stuck. Great. Um, Fatu, we're, we're in the month of, um, uh, March. For, the, for, for ladies. I mean, uh, this is yes. the month for ladies, uh, March. Mm -hmm. And specifically, 8th of March is um, International Women's Day. Yes. And now you are in a male, so I say a male-dominated area, I mean, everything you do, just try to excel in the world today. Um, uh, there's the issue of gender equality. You know, you, the ladies, uh, want to be equals like us. Where we're sitting now, you want to be equal like, like me. So um, what do you feel? Do you, what's, what's, do you experience any resistance? One, leading men, because uh, you own a business. Yes. You know, and also in an, in an area which is male-dominated one way or the other. What do you think, you know, and taking into account that uh, we are now in the month of March, which is very dedicated uh, to women? Well, it's really, um, in the first place, I'm like, we have to have a whole month dedicated to women because we want to be equal. I think this is something that should be celebrated every day mm -hmm. uh, because we all know how women, uh, when, like Margaret Thatcher said, when you want something said, ask a man. But mm -hmm. If you want something done, ask really? a woman. Yes. Wow. Because we're the ones who make things happen. Right now, your director is a woman. Yeah. And you know what that means, yeah. right? I have She's... 70% <laughs> of my management staff are women. See? Me, I'm a ladies' man. Okay, see? Yeah. Because we get things done. Yes. So I think it's important. Uh, but if you look at it in Africa, I think until now, women are not where we should be. Mm. Look at the cabinet. If mm. you look at the um, Gambia government cabinet, you see we have very few women there. And men still, most of the politicians still believe women should just be behind clapping, wearing ashabi and doing all the cooking and stuff, which is very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. uh, in the media that we are, it's male-dominated. When I started the, the Fatu, show and the iMedia company which is the parent company of the Fatu Network mm. that time I think I was the first woman 
uh, it was to set up that business and, and, you know, started doing the show and a lot of media work. It was very difficult because then if you employ men, they think that they deserve respect when you talk to them. Mm. Like you cannot talk to them a certain way because mm. you are a woman. Mm. And if you talk to them, some male staff would resign. They would, I had that situation like twice mm. where they think that they are men. I shouldn't talk to them a certain way. Mm. So it is always a problem. But I think until now, um, we have a long way to go because we're talking about equality. But is it happening? No, it's still not here. Men are still getting better pay than women doing the same job. And you look at cabinet, not enough representation. You look at the National Assembly, not enough representation. You look into politics. Women don't want to go into politics. For some of us, women in the media, when there is an issue, they call you names. Mm. And they don't call men that name, mm. those names. Mm. So these are all issues that uh, would require a lot of sensitization for people to change their mindset. Well, that's, that's what we are here for, for advocacy. So those who are listening, policymakers, the general public, You've heard her, uh, that uh, there's the need uh, to uh, sensitize the public in general, uh, that uh, women can do things as good as men do. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, now let's move to your area, your forte. I yeah. mean, I think what you are up to now, um, which is the Heroes Award. Yes. We've seen you've done the Heroes Awards. About what? This is what, the third time? This is the third time. One was cancelled yeah. after COVID. It would have been fourth, but yeah. it's the third. Yeah, I remember, I remember I was honoured uh, in yes. the first one. Thank you very yes, much for you that were. one. And you, you know, know you, were, you, were, you were voted to be the man of the year, but we had to cancel it because you were a sponsor. Wow. You wow, were working wow. with us I would have stepped well. down. So, yeah. I would have stepped down. <laughs> I mean, as, as, as you know, I would have rejected it because the thing is, mm. I've done my own bit. And I think um, what you're doing now, yeah. especially for a man of the year, it's meant for a certain category of, of people. Mm. And, you know, you cannot eat your bit and then go and share the same with the next generation. Yeah, makes I sense. Have, I have been honored in this country at the highest and level. And outside of the country. I have won three times the businessman of the year. GCCI. From GCCI. Yes, I remember. So really, any national mm. award that comes in, I, I, I don't want to be part of it. No, I have it makes opportunity. sense. But look, let's leave space for others. So, uh, mm -hmm. but let's talk about it. I mean, yes. what made you get into, into Heroes Award? You know, I see in Gambia, most of the time, people are not rewarded for the good work that they do and all the, you know, the good things that they're doing. We do not honor our people a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you look at other countries, for instance, the US and the UK, you talk to young people, school going age, they will tell you about the people who made it possible for them to have independence, people mm -hmm. who fought for them, the big people in their country. Mm -hmm. My son will tell you about all of them. Mm -hmm. In Gambia, we do not do that. Mm -hmm. uh, for me to know about Edward Francis Small, I had to do my own research. Because wow. in the school, we were taught about, um, you know, Alvisto, Kadamosto, you know, yeah, those yeah, kind yeah, of people. Yeah, yeah. So we do yeah. not get to know our own people. Yeah. So I wanted to, I, I'm always a big advocate of uh, our young people getting to know the Mustafa Njais of this world mm -hmm. and all the Aziz Wilans and mm -hmm. all these great mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So I said maybe then we can do an award program where people will be honored. Mm -hmm. So I set up an award committee mm -hmm. and uh, the award is independent. They're really independent. It's different from for the Fatu Network and myself mm -hmm. uh, to look at people who are doing great job and honor them. I mm -hmm. think these people deserve it. Mm -hmm. so, so how many categories do you have? We have 10. Thank we have you. like education, agriculture, the person of the year. Um, we have uh, one for Gambian that passed away, mm. you know, posthumous award. Mm -hmm. We give that out as well. And also for the differently abled. Mm -hmm. And we do a special award as well. So mm. it's actually 10 different categories uh, that are all very important. Uh, we were thinking about uh, dropping some, but if you look at agriculture, you look at health, mm -hmm. you look at education, which one are you going to drop for which one? Mm -hmm. So we're keeping all 10 awards. Okay, 10 awards. Yes. It's and 10. Um, let, let's, look about the, let's talk about the committee, mm -hmm. um, the committee that handles um, uh, the, the awards. Yes. Uh, would, you, would you call their names up, who they are? Um, yes, yeah. we actually would publish them. But this year what we did, because every year we have one awards committee that would, we will post on social media to get people to vote. This mm -hmm. would make them to be part of it. 
but also we uh, select people who mm. we think we can look into this whole thing and, and, and you know, select winners. So this year, because we've been depending a lot on social media, getting people to send in their nominees, mm -hmm. but then we had a meeting and I said, I do not think that's a good idea because sometimes there's somebody doing very well in Kirpate, yeah. but nobody would know him. Yeah. So the people on social media would only vote for those mm -hmm. who have visibility on mm -hmm. social media. Mm -hmm. So I said, how about this year we have a nominating committee? Mm -hmm. So we have that. Okay. We have a nominating committee and two work for at the, at the Rural Development Institute up country. Mm -hmm. So two of them work there so that they can also look at up country mm -hmm. and see you know, who um, they think is eligible and can be nominated. So we have, of course, uh, Nyang Jai, who knows Gambia very well. Mm -hmm. uh, Mama Linger Sar is also in there. Fatma, Fatou Mambure, mm -hmm. who's been there since inception. Mm -hmm. And the two guys that uh, work for the Rural Development Institute, mm -hmm. they are all, right now they're the nominating committee. And once they're ready, plus what the internet has, we'll put those together and try to, they will do their final nomination. Oh, excellent. Selection. So, so you, you, this is the third time. Yes. You've had it twice. Uh, where was it held before? Coco Ocean. Coco Ocean. Yes. How, about, how about this year? It will be at Sadauda Kerabas Center. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people will tell me, oh, I see center. But again, like what I was saying, mm -hmm. our founders, our big people, we've got to mm -hmm. remember them. Mm -hmm. So if you keep calling this OIC, then the Sadauda Kerabas name will go. Yeah. So it is the Sadauda Kerabas Center. Mm -hmm. And this would not be inside the hall. It would be outside open air, mm -hmm. ocean view. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, have you already priced the tickets and so on? Yes, it's going to be tables, uh, of course, 100,000. Uh, you, you know Yusundu, he yeah. played for you before. You yeah, know how yeah. expensive it is. Yeah. So uh, tables would still be 100. We wanted to put it up, but looking at the economic situation, you know, it would be difficult if you want to make it 120. Mm -hmm. So we kept a ticket since we started. It's always been 100. We're mm -hmm. keeping it at 100. Uh, the, the gold, 100,000 for, for a table of 10. Yeah. Yeah. So the gold used to be 80. So that one we put up to 85. Mm -hmm. Because this year we are paying more to the artists than we paid last year. Mm -hmm. So, so, so 80,000 for gold. It's 85 now. 85,000 for 10 people. For 10 people. 10 yeah. people. And then? Yes. And then we, individual tickets last year was 6,005. This year we're going to keep it at 5,000. You, you lowered it down? Yes. Wow. Because so of me, I'm buying, I'm buying individual tickets. No, huh? I'm not selling no, that I'm, to you. I'm buying. I'm not selling that to you. <laughs> But that's the only one that's lowered. No. <laughs> okay, so go on. Yes, yeah, so, so we decided to cut that down. If you look at the economic situation, we know, and this is not only Gambia, it's all over the world. Mm. So we decided to put the individual tickets down. Well uh, platinum would have a different menu from mm -hmm. gold. Mm -hmm. You know, we do that every year because 100,000 mm -hmm. is also a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And they will have a lot of priority, um, you know, up in the front. That's mm -hmm. where they would be sitting. And um, they will have a, a, a lot of other different opportunities. We are trying to talk to you to give us a goodie bag. Maybe put a diary to <laughs> Africa Global or something so we can give you to... You know who to talk to, not me. I know, I know. I, this is home. Don't worry. <laughs> but that's good. I mean, yeah. organizing this is not easy, Fadi. Mm, no. so, so just tell us. I mean, you've told us about the, 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 the committee, uh, nomination committee that's yes. there. But, but how about the rest? I mean, are you working alone or do no, you No, I a have team? a team. I have yeah. a group of young people. Mm -hmm. And you know, once every year when we start, I have a lot of messages. Mm. Hi, we are here to help. Mm. So we have a lot of that. Mm. So we're trying to see who goes into marketing, who mm. will help with marketing, who will help with the setting up and stuff. And who will also be helping with, you know, doing the letters and mm. all of that. But we already have the template mm. from all these years. Mm. So mostly it's just to change uh, the information. But yes, we do have a marketing committee, people who are helping. Mm. And also for the setup, I also have a group of people who are very willing young, young Gambians. Like I'm starting this and I'm traveling, but there's a team who's going to be handling everything. Mm. I believe in delegating responsibility. Excellent. So, so it's not only helping, but, but I mean, they get paid for this. Services. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think this yeah. is something we need to highlight. Mm -hmm. uh, that at the end of the day, mm -hmm. um, people will look at the Heroes Awards and think that, okay, Fatou Kamara is going to have so many number of people there paying mm -hmm. so much. Yeah. And then that's gross. Yeah. And they think that it's pocketed. Mm -hmm. I think it's good to share because we yes. go through this thing also. When mm -hmm. we build a house... I mean, there are so many components to a house. Yes. And there are also other services that you also hire. 
And um, this is good for the economy also. So uh, if you want, you can say, okay, look, you're using these services. Da, 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 yeah, but you if know. you look at it now, how many hotels are going to benefit? Mm. Yusu is staying at a hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, the ban is staying at a hotel. Mm -hmm. And all the quotations we're getting just for the ban is almost, is over 500,000. And there's just two nights. Wow. It's actually one and a half nights, but we have to pay two. Yeah. The taxi drivers, mm. they're going to be making a lot of money. Mm. The gas stations, a lot, of, a lot more people will be out. The tailors, the fashion designers, everybody. Mm. And then uh, those who are helping as well, everybody gets paid. When I do an event before I take my flight to leave the country and go, I make sure even the people who were lifting uh, paper mm. get something out mm. of it. Mm. Everybody mm. gets money out of it. Mm. And also uh, the, the profit, some people will ask, what do we do with it? But then you know how it is with you, Sundur. By mm. the time you're done with all these payments, mm. how much money do you have left? Mm. So I'm trying to do a library mm. in Kianguroka. Wow. I have Books of Africa. They've already sent me a, a, a whole lot of books. Mm. The books are already here. They're at my house. So I have asked them to get me a quotation and all, but then can you imagine, you know, people, mm. when they see people like tough, they think that you have a whole <laughs> lot of money. <laughs> so I'm trying to set up a library yeah. that would also have a computer center okay. where young people can learn computers and also read. Mm. So I have my own budget, but then when I ask them, even the person doing the, the construction to build it, mm who is local, because mm. I didn't want to get people from this area and mm. move them there. Mm. He's asking for 600,000. Mm. Can you imagine? Yeah, and yeah. then I'm like, you know, with all of this, when am I going to complete <laughs> this? But definitely I want to use part of that money and set up to the library. Give back. Yeah, give because back the books are already here. Yeah, okay, it's just good. to build it. And okay, when excellent. I'm doing that, I would come to Tough Africa Global and I'll talk to them. Well, I will tell you what we'll do. It seems it's a library. <laughs> yes. and you do know about um, uh, Tough the Fun. Builder. Yes. We will donate some books to the, yeah. to, to the, yeah. li to the library. That would be great too. Well, yeah. You know, that, that's great. Uh, now, and uh, let's books talk and about, more. Yeah, let's talk about the music <laughs> here. Because it's an event where, where okay, you honor, you honor people. That's one. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the, the reasons why you're doing it. Secondly, you go there, you have good food. Uh, three is the enjoyment. Yes. Uh, you know, um, so now you're bringing Yusundur. Everybody knows Yusundur. Yeah. Um, how about Gambian artists? Do you have Gambian artists there? I have ST there. ST is a great Saluto. guy. Saluto. Uh -huh. He's very supportive. <laughs> Each time I'm doing my event, you know. Can you imagine? He would refuse for me to pay him. Wow. He wow. would say, no, you're not paying me. Wow, but wow. you know, the good thing is, yeah. I managed to have his account number. Wow, so just wow, let him wow, wait there. Wow, wow, <laughs> and wow. Also, I have our Gambia. Yeah. She's very good. Yeah. She's performing. Yeah. And Jaliba was supposed to be there, but he has a European tour. Okay. On May 8th, mm. he's going on a European tour, so he would not be in town. Mm. So I'm trying to see if we should add one more, another mm. one Gambian. Mm. But I don't want this to be, uh, I don't want people to be there for too long as well. Mm. So that's why this year we've changed a whole lot. Mm. Like I've been watching a lot of awards, um, both in, from, from England, from America, from everywhere. So we're going to do a lot of cutting on, especially reading the bios mm. and the video and stuff. Mm. We're going to put all the bios on the Facebook, then mm. that way this will be faster mm -hmm. then people can enjoy also music mm -hmm. so right now we have three artists which is Yusundur, our gambia and st so we may because jaliba is not going to be around mm -hmm. we may add another one so i'm trying to oh, see excellent who, yes and, and date again you have mentioned may the date. 13 so may 13 yes at the sadawda jawara Kairaba Center. Kairaba, Kairaba Jawara Center. Center. Yes. Okay, excellent. And then mm. it's out in the open by, yes. the, by the ocean. By the ocean, yes. We look forward to this. Yes. I hope I'll be in town. Oh, yeah. I and you know so. me, if I'm in town, I'm there. Yes. So, uh, but let's, let's talk about Gambian music, really. Mm. And here I would like to uh, give compliments to people like ST, ST yes. our Gambia coming up now. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jizul and others. Yes. You know me, I'm a youth man, so yes. they don't know I listen to yeah. their music. But we <laughs> must give them compliment. The reason is because there was a time when some people were very nationalistic about music. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, why are we taking all these, you know, foreign musicians to bring them over? Music is like food. If you do it well, people will eat it. And we good. must give compliment to people like, like these young people. Huh? Mm -hmm. They're filling up the stadium. Oh, yes. I mean, their crowd is bigger yeah. these days mm -hmm. than that of all these foreign artists. Mm -hmm. Now, the lesson to learn there to all these young people, as we said, this program is to inspire these young ones. It's for them to get up and be competitive. Mm -hmm. Because today, these boys are now going beyond the Gambia. I mean, I call them boys for who they are. Yes. But, I mean, in Senegal, I mean, they are something. 
Mm -hmm. uh, they are doing duos with um, people like Vivian. Yes. You know, with Baba Ma. You know, so so mm -hmm. really, we give you compliment, um, SD, Jizul, and the others. You know, the list goes on. Uh, we need to really compliment you guys for breaking the glass ceiling. That today we can boost off Gambian music celebrities. Mm -hmm. So well done. Yes. Let's have more coming in. And obviously, we'll support. Mm -hmm. Now, go ahead. Definitely, yeah. yes, yes. It, it's all how you present yourself, too. Yeah. And um, the young ones we have, they're doing that very well. Mm -hmm. They all have their social media handles. Mm -hmm. And if you want them to perform for you, you don't go to them directly, you go through their managers. managers yeah. See, that's where it all starts. Yeah. You cannot yeah. also do music and be out there, you know, and make it look really cheap. Mm -hmm. They're doing a great job, yes. Well, you know, Faru, I cannot have you on this show and let you go without mm -hmm. giving you this one. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you, you are a, you're somebody at times who seems to be very controversial. Yes, uh, I, I love mm -hmm. that. I mean, we, you know, we need to have disruptors. Yes, you know, it happens in life mm -hmm. uh, for good reasons. I mean, yes. uh, you worked in uh, you worked for for Jame as a press officer. Yes, um, we know your history. Uh, got arrested, went to the U.S. You know, and you fought. You know, um, uh, in your own ways, uh, and you are recognized uh, internationally for what you did. You are here now back home. I don't want to go through all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want, we'll, my uncle will tell me. You know my uncle? Your uncle? Which yeah, you one? know my uncle now? Which one? Uncle Google. Yeah. <laughs> and you know my you auntie. You have the same uncle then? Yes. We have, we have the same who, who is the auntie? Auntie, auntie YouTube. Ah, uh, yeah, that one. Yeah. So you talk to you know, my uncle and my auntie. They will yes. tell you everything about us. Yes, yes. That is so, true. But, but let's, yeah. let's now be forward thinking. Mm -hmm. 2018 was here. Everybody saw what happened. We all contributed, one way or the other, to bring in 2018. It was a major change. And then we've had, the, I mean, the, is it the Third Republic? And now here we are again. In 2021, we had presidential election. Yes. We have had um, uh, uh, legislative election. Mm -hmm. In April... We have councillors. Councillors. And then so May, May. May. So by May, mm -hmm. I guess elections will be over. Yes, by May 20th. Yeah. 20th. And then what we will have next is um, uh, elections in 2026. Yes. Tell me, what sort of Gambia do you want to see beyond elections, beyond politics? Well, we want to see one that people uh, are able to work together, even if they do not love each other. Because mm -hmm. we don't have to love each other, but we should be able to work together. Mm -hmm. So that's the problem we have here. People take everything personal. Uh, we have to be, we have to keep that behind us. Mm -hmm. um, working with uh, Fatu, you really don't have to like me. A lot of people come to Fatu Network, they're being interviewed and somebody will call me and say, ah, you ki sago naladi, si time is be. Mm -hmm. But you see, Fatu Network is something that I set up that's out there. Mm -hmm. I cannot say I don't like Mustafa Njai, he cannot appear on my TV. Mm -hmm. I mean, what kind of attitude is mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. So people need to walk away from that and, and try to be able to work with people. And also, we got to be fair to everyone. Mm -hmm. You are accessible. Somebody mm -hmm. can just walk up to your office and meet you. Mm -hmm. So I think these are all things that, and they also need to give jobs to those who can do it. Mm -hmm. Now, last word. Mm -hmm. uh, send a message to women. It's the, again, the month of March. Uh, who will be listening? What's your last word to them, women and Gambians in general? Well, we just have to be ourselves. You know, just be you. Mm. Like you said, sometimes I'm controversial. That's who I am. Mm. I'm not going to try to impress anybody. Mm. So that's where it all starts. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Be you. No matter who is watching. Because mm. you got to be authentic. Mm. You don't want to be out there. Because what I see in Gambia, if you fake a lot, mm. that's when people come to you, oh, you have class. Mm -hmm. In the first place, I do not believe in class. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what it is. Mm -hmm. I just believe that everybody should be authentic. Mm -hmm. Everybody should be themselves. That's where it starts. And women should know that we, you cannot depend on a man for everything. I have people who would tell me, oh, my boyfriend didn't give me money. And I would look at them and say, oh, a man has to give you money? Mm. For what? Mm. We should be able to work mm -hmm. and make our own money. Because then if you do that, you're independent. Nobody would treat you with disrespect. Mm -hmm. You'll be respected. So be yourself. Be authentic. Just be your true self. Excellent. Well, Father, thank you very much for having you on the Tough Hub. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, um, uh, under normal circumstances, I should have been sitting there. Exactly. You are sitting here. But I, I, these days, I have a passion for media. And the media is ruling the world. Uh, you good. need to tell your own story. I'm glad you came and you told your story. Mm -hmm. And I hope that women out there, as we celebrate you in the month of March, will learn from Fatu, who's started from very modest backgrounds, but determined to be who she is. Today, she's not only in the Gambia. I know she's um, somehow well-connected 
in neighboring countries, Senegal, Sierra Leone, and growing. We want to see FATU being multiplied so that Gambia can raise the flag higher and higher. So on that note, thank you very much. Can we come your way again? This is the tough hop. Thank you.